Jim DeBacca says if he is elected mayor of Salt Lake City, his number one way of curbing pollution is pressuring refineries to make so-called Tier 3 fuel, basically less sulfur and reduced tailpipe emissions. One of the, one of the dirty little secrets of the legislature is, is called Tier 3. And tier 3 is a new fuel as well as a new kind of engine for cars. Every car in America will have a Tier 3 engine beginning in 2016. But not every state, not every municipality will have Tier 3 fuel. The difference between Tier 3 fuel and the fuel we're using now is kind of the difference between unleaded and regular fuel. If you, you're too young to remember, but we had a big transition between leaded fuel and what we have now. I'm older than you, pal. I'll bet you not. <laughs> Whip out that driver's license. Um, tier three. Mm -hmm. So tier three is important, and Utah might well not get it. There needs to be a lot of yelping right now. When the EPA made the rules for tier three, it said to the refineries in Washington, it negotiated a national deal, and it said to the refineries, 70 percent of you have to be to tier three by 2019, but 30 percent don't. So as our refineries in the valley here are looking about whether or not they should go to tier three, which would rapidly, the single best decline in our air in Utah would be that switch to tier three. There is a very good chance that they are going to wait. They're going to wait to 2029 or later to switch to tier three. But the more pressure that a community and a state puts on those national refineries, the more likely they're going to put those communities into the 70% that have clean air rather than let them keep polluting. And I don't think we put enough pressure onto um, to the to our refineries here to make sure that they are at tier three. That's something okay. we can do for clean air. Maybe the most important thing right now.